Hello everyone, it's Joe Castadonte, Castani Homes. We're out here at Tower Hill and we are putting our scratch coat on the areas of the house that are getting the brick veneer. And the brick veneer is a real brick, it's a thin brick, but it's real. Um, it's an actual brick that's cut thin. And what happens is, you know, under here you have your uh, coat of Tyvek. You know, we have everything Tyvek and then taped and waterproof tight. And then on top of that, you get a uh, felt paper and then a wire. And then this coat uh, of concrete going on is called brown coat. So it gets that brown coat on there. And then it'll get another coat and then the finished coat with the thin brick. So normally if this were a stucco finish, um, where you see the windows, there would be a, you know, uh, a J channel and then at the bottom there'd be a weep screed for release of water and all of that, but we don't need that with this brick veneer underneath a porch like this. So not only is it the brick veneer, you know, it's not just stucco, so it's not as absorbent, but it's still absorbent, but you know, we've waterproofed everything properly first and then, you know, we, like I said, we have the the jumbo tax tar paper and then we have the the wire and the scratch coat uh, so you don't see what's called a j channel around the windows because it's not needed since that's covered well it's not exposed to weather as much and then to the left here on this area here this was a concrete wall but it was wired and scratch coated also so that that brick veneer sticks better it's the right way to do it and there you see it. Same thing with the foundation. This was all block work and concrete. And, you know, it is also wired and scratch coated. So now this will sit and we'll, we'll let it sit for a couple weeks actually before we put the brick veneer on. So it is time to cure and dry well and tighten up. And then we'll come back and do the brick veneer over top of it in about two or three weeks. Okay, that's it for today. Have a good day.